Spotting fake news is often easier said than done, even when you work in this business. Uh, UW-Madison researchers want to help, and they're dedicating the next nine months to it. Anna Hansen shows us how. These days, information is at our fingertips. But Mike Wagner views that as a blessing and a curse. Some people use social media strategically to spread disinformation. That's why the UW-Madison professor is teaming up with Georgia Tech and Washington State Universities to investigate misinformation on social media. Wagner hopes their work goes beyond simply correcting popular misconceptions. What we want to be able to do is identify who the folks are who are spreading misinformation. A $750,000 grant from the National Science Foundation's Convergence Accelerator will support the nine-month project. But it's not just about finding and flagging misinformation. They hope to help fact-checkers and journalists spread the truth. In all those spaces, we can start to think about where can we detect where misinformation flowing and what kind of misinformation is, is actually flowing there. Ultimately, the learning we do from that, we hope to be able to work with fact checkers to actually, as they put their stories out, to help them know where to direct those stories. Wagner says there are a variety of factors playing into the spread of misinformation. We don't necessarily have the time to process all of the information we are being inundated with. Which is why Wagner and his team are dedicating their time. We're all very busy. To make sure the truth reaches you first. In Madison, Anna Hansen, News 3. Well, the project is successful. They'll start a two-year program during which researchers will develop a prototype database for fact-checkers.